Hey guys, it's Juice. This is one of those stories I told you about uh, the last couple of weeks that I'd be doing more of. Uh, so in this video thumbnail, it says the F-15 Strike Eagle is nice, but it's not the Eagle. And a the Eagle in quotation marks. And I want to tell you a little bit uh, an Eagle story. Uh, I'm wearing my Eagle jacket right now that I got made when I was in Korea. Uh, this jacket was made in 1984. Uh, about three years before Top Gun came out and people started copying Tom Cruise's jacket in, uh, in the real world or the, or the civilian world. Uh, but I'll show you the jacket I had made and I'll show you something about the Strike Eagle. So back uh, in 1980, from 1980 to 1986, the Strike Eagle was in development. Uh, it was a proof of concept. As a matter of fact, the original test model was a test bed to uh, use the F-15 platform to test the capability of conformal tanks or CFTs. Uh, they called them fast packs at the time. And eventually that turned into the air to bomb truck that it, the Strike Eagle has become. Little trivia for anybody in the comments, give it a thumbs up and put in the comment why you think the Strike Eagle is an Eagle or is the other F-15C, A through D, the real Eagle. And let me know what you think and I'll tell you what I think later. Uh, another thing you guys can do too is anybody wants some extra credit for homework, uh, talk about the only F-15 Strike Eagle air-to-air -air kill. Tell us, put us a link to the story on that. I know there's a lot of people that know that one. So I had this jacket done up, and of course I was an F-15C guy, life support at Kadena, ZZ, right there. I had this patch. I commissioned this patch. As a matter of fact, I think it has my initials on there. Uh, DW, somebody out DW down there. I can, I designed that patch for the patch maker, and uh, and it says up there the F-15 C Eagle. And then I went ahead, and at the time we knew the F-15 Strike Eagle was coming. We didn't know what it was going to look like uh, at the time. Its requirement was sorry if I blocked my voice there. Uh, the requirement was uh, to replace the F-4 as an air-to-ground platform. And so this, during the six years of development until the first flight in 1986, this is what I had envisioned the Strike Eagle looking like. Just basically an F-4 with the F-15 with the fast packs and the bombs. and the. Look at this. This was done. I did this in 1984, this patch. So you can see it's got four AIM-9s on there. And it's got some bombs with the little, the little rods. Remember back in Vietnam, those fusing rods? Or those, they look almost like the bomb lift rods. If you guys are former weapons loaders, tell us what those are. Uh, there, I know there's some delay fuses or some pressure fuses or some type of plunger fuses. Uh, but also I noticed that some of the Navy guys use these to lift the bombs up, put it on the airplane before they put the real fuse in and stuff like that. So I had this jacket done. Here's the, uh, so you remember I worked on F-15Cs and briefly RF or RF-4Cs. Uh, I told you the story last week about the... Uh, the life support tech and I that she almost jumped off the airplane because we were playing a joke on her. Uh, these are the these are the this is the wing patch in the middle, and this was our four squadrons in our in the operations group there. I was part of the 67th squadron. Here's the 44th Vampires. Go bats. Here's the 12th Eagles, and over here is the 15th TRS. The 15th TRS you can barely see that. That stands for Tactical Reconnaissance Squadron, and we used to go uh, to Osan and set alert. Uh, for 30 days at a time, 60 days at a time sometimes. And uh, these are the countries that I served in while I was over there. So I had that done up. And then while I was there, you guys go way back in our history, you'll see uh, my connection to the KAL-007 shoot down over uh, 1 September 1983. Uh, our squadron deployed. I didn't go, just two of, our, two of my friends did. Uh, they went with the T uh, 12 TFS. And uh, basically, we deployed to Misawa Air Base to set alert while they hook, they looked for the uh, for the black boxes. And so we had this patch made, and it's you know, all these eagles all here in the sky with a red star behind it, and it says Misawa Air Guard, Misawa Air Guard, Air National Guard. We don't fly 747s, 12th Tactical Fighter Squadron. Back at this time. One life support shop took care of all, we had 18 guys working on uh, all three life support shops for the F-15s. Eventually we split up and that's how I ended up in the 67th. So that's just my short story for today. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, share it with a friend. We appreciate it. See you guys. Cheers.